Well, hello to today. We have Gaio from Junji Ito. There's something rotten in Okinawa. It's had some pretty cool end pages, end papers, whatever you want to call it. This book beat out Tomi as my least favorite Ito. This one was just weird. Um, so we start off by um, this god awful stench, uh, like and <laughs> this god awful stench everywhere. And this the girl in this the girl in this is just so obnoxious, so obnoxious, so obnoxious. It was hard because I'm like, dude, just shut up, like just be quiet. Like, I don't care. Like, you're so annoying. The only thing you can say is, ah, it stinks. It stinks. Get rid of it. It stinks. It's like, you bring absolutely, well, I mean, she brings something to the story later on. I I'll try not to spoil that, but for, like, the first, like, half of the book, it's like, she brings nothing to the story besides being just obnoxious and annoying. But these basically, um, these, uh, <laughs> mechanical dead fish things crawl from the sea um and they're they're like robots and they're powered by these the gases that the dead fish um give off so that's what we're working with here and so the smell of course is the rottenness you know we have a we have the boss fight you know and um once, uh, you know, people start getting infected and animals start getting infected and the, the fish kind of die away, these robots cling on to, you know, humans and animals and, and things like that to survive. And the the kids, uh, the, the dude in the story's uncle um, is a scientist and he, uh, he uh, gets a hold of these things and he... Uh, you know, basically reverse engineers it, and um, I can't really say what else happens after that without getting into spoiler territory. So, um, spoiler if you haven't read this and you want to read it, stop now, go read it, come back. Um, I, even though it's my least favorite Ito, um, you know, I think it's kind of still worth reading i mean it still kind of has some cool artwork and stuff and uh i i almost promise you that if you get started on ito you'll become want to become a, a completionist at least for the horror stuff so anyway so um the uncle uh creates a, a big one um you know and the at one point the girlfriend gets um the annoying girlfriend gets infected and I, I just had it here and now it's gone and yeah so she's she's infected so we're working with here and so unbeknownst to the boyfriend the uncle um uses the girl to power his his reverse engineered machine and of course when the boy finds out he's not too happy with it um and at some point the uncle uh gets fatally injured so he has his assistant take him to uh to become part of the machine to, so i'm kind of taught like humans become uh become um part of the machines after the fish die off and <clears throat> some of these pictures i can't show they're kind of you don't want to know exactly where the tubes come in and out the uh i don't think youtube would like that too much so yeah and then it just kind of fizzles out at the end I, i'm kind of you know i don't think um I don't think Junji is the greatest at endings. Um, I think he kind of struggles a little bit. I think he just gets so wrapped up in the in the 
central idea that uh, when it comes time to kind of finish it, it's just like, okay, I'm done. On to the next thing. But it kind of fizzled out at the end. The ending was kind of dumb. Um, but the this one felt so like Tomi, Uzumaki, Dissolving Classrooms, um, even Censored to an extent. Those felt like short stories or centered around uh, you know a central idea and um, each story could almost be a standalone this one is the first one that I read of his where it felt like the story progressed from from section to section so that was kind of interesting and um but um the I mean there are some weird kind of out there parts like he stumbles upon a a circus or something you know and things like that but it felt like more of a a chapter a story with chapters you know rather than a collection of short, short stories surrounded by a single idea so the death stench creeps gaio uh let me know i'm probably pronouncing that wrong feel free to correct, correct me down below um by Junji Ito, did you like it? Did you hate it? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I, uh, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? As far as Ito goes out of the Itos I've read, it goes Dissolving Classrooms, Fragments, Uzumaki, Sensor, Tomi, Gaio. That's how my 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 list is going. So let me uh, let me know down below. Uh, am I just missing the greatness of this? The artwork I thought was really strong. I thought it was uh, kind of interesting. You know, you got, I think I already showed this, but you know, the, the shark machine and um, it, it definitely had some great artwork going on. Um, but as far as the story goes, I thought it was kind of silly and um, kind of hard to get into it with that with the annoying girl at the beginning everything stays get rid of it ah, just like shut up that's it for this one peeps cheers